Hello everyone, I am back with another blood sugar experiment. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these blood sugar test videos because I haven't had access to a working kitchen in months, but fruit does not require cooking. So I wanted to figure out how my body responds to certain fruits, uh, namely apples, blueberries, and bananas. I wanted to see which of these fruits are good for my blood sugar, which of these fruits are bad for my blood sugar, etc., etc. And I also have a bonus blood sugar experiment for you at the very end, which I think you all will appreciate. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's get into it. Yikes. Okay. So 99 as my pre-meal sort of fasting number. And why I say sort of fasting number is that I haven't eaten anything today. It is the morning time. I woke up about an hour ago and I have been kind of running around packing my kids lunches and preparing breakfast. And even though I haven't eaten anything yet, when your body moves, your body starts releasing some of that stored glucose to fuel your movement. So that 99 probably isn't a true accurate fasting number but still it is high for a number where i kind of woke up very recently and haven't eaten anything so you know it is what it is 99 i'm gonna go and sit and eat my one apple and then i'm gonna check at the one hour and two hour mark to see what my blood sugar is doing here is my version of a serving size of an apple. This is a small snacking apple. I want to put it next to my face so that you can see. This is not a medium sized apple. This is not a large apple. This is a small apple. And actually the bag, this is from Costco, they, they call them snacking apples. So this is going to be my version of one serving so that you guys can see exactly how much apple I'm eating in reference to what happens to my blood sugar. All right, I'm going to eat this. One hour in, I'm not expecting a crazy number. 110. So I started out at 99 and it was 110. Just as I suspected, the fiber in that apple, um, I think was more than enough to offset any blood sugar spike. And also it was a very small apple. So, you know, re-emphasizing the idea of portion size. As long as you are watching your portion size, things are okay. And I guess I should speak for myself. If I watch portion size, then eating an apple by itself, which really I never do, this is just for the sake of the experiment. If I'm gonna eat apple, I always pair it with um, a handful of almonds or peanut butter or something. But I guess I don't necessarily have to as long as I'm keeping my portion um, small with that apple. Oops, I am running 15 minutes behind on my two hour blood sugar check because I was on a phone call and it was kind of a stressful phone call. So I wonder if my blood sugar is going to uh, reflect that stress because my body does really react very highly to stress and my blood sugar does shoot up. So, oh, I need to like take a few deep breaths and relax a little bit. Let's see what happens to my blood sugar. 98, okay, Whew. okay, so I wasn't like super, super stressed out then. So 98, it went from 99 to 110 to 98, so it's back down to the normal level. So again, for me personally, eating a small apple plain is something that I can do, apparently. My body can handle that. I don't really prefer apples on its own anyway, but good to know that apples are fine for me. Good morning, everyone. I am back for another day. Today, I'm going to be testing the impact of blueberries on my blood sugar and any diabetes, pre-diabetes, like expert, guru, doctor, whatever says that if you're going to eat fruit, then you should stick with berries, blueberries being one of them. So I don't foresee my blood sugar having any issues with this. Um, now, one serving is one cup and I didn't have my measuring cup because everything is packed away for our kitchen renovation. So I googled it and found out that one cup is about 65 to 75 blueberries. So I literally counted out 75 blueberries for this experiment. Um, and I'm just gonna eat them and see what happens. So let me test my fasting blood sugar here. Same as the other day. I am not testing this as soon as I woke up. So it's not a true fasting, but still it shows me what my blood sugar is right before I 
down these 75 blueberries. So the result of that is... Ninety six. Okay, so let me go ahead and eat these seventy five blueberries. All right, I'm back for my one hour check. Full disclosure, I um, totally forgot just for a split second that I was doing this experiment, and I took a sip of unsweetened matcha latte that just had matcha powder, water, and a whole milk, no sweetener. I don't think it's going to impact the results whatsoever because I literally took like half of a sip and then I was like. Oops, I totally forgot. But wanted to let you know anyway, my one hour number is 95. Okay, so my blood sugar did not move. So interesting, blueberries really are good for blood sugar. All right, I'll check back in in another hour. Yeah, you wanna see? There's you. All right, two hours here. I'm gonna go ahead and check my blood sugar one last time. Honestly, I think this is gonna be a waste of a perfectly good test strip. My blood sugar was 95 an hour ago. I'm, I'm checking my blood sugar. Um, I just, I don't think that it's gonna be any different. But I'll check anyway, just for the sake of science, so that we can be consistent with checking pre-meal, one hour, two hour number, 99. Okay, so um, yeah, it, it stayed very, very stable. Some people might question like, why is there an increase in blood sugar? Why did it go from 95 to 99? But really those are the same number. There is a variability in the blood sugar machines. There's also, your, your blood sugar is constantly moving. It's not like exactly stable all the time. That's the explanation. That's what accounts for that 99 number. Basically my blood sugar stayed the same eating that one cup of blueberries. So that is great. Okay, so new day, new fruit. Today I am testing out the dreaded banana. If there is one fruit that people say you should stay away from if you wanna keep your blood sugar steady, it really is the banana. This fruit strikes fear in the heart of us insulin resistant, metabolically dysfunctional people, but I'm going to test it out and see how my body does. According to Google, a medium banana has about 27 grams of carbs. And as you can see, this is a pretty decent level of ripeness here. And obviously the more ripe a banana is, the more fructose and glucose it contains. Also, as the banana ripens, the fiber in the banana starts to break down as well. So just some helpful info about bananas there. I tested my blood sugar this morning. It was 92. So let's go ahead and eat this thing. All right, let's do this one hour check. I have no idea what kind of number to expect whatsoever. I'm just expecting it to be high. Oop, needs more blood from me. What do you guys think? I was at 92. Ooh, 120. So it spiked almost 30 points. I am back for my two hour check. And as usual, when my blood sugar spikes or my insulin levels spike and then drop, I get really hungry. So I'm feeling famished right now as well. So my one hour number was 120. And let's see now at my two hour mark, did it come down because my insulin went crazy? 97. Okay, so basically back to baseline. So I know for my body, I'm not gonna be able to eat a banana on its own. Blueberries and apples, Fair game, banana, no go. Okay, so clearly my body can handle apples and blueberries. It cannot handle bananas very well. But does that necessarily mean that I have to cut bananas out of my life forever? Well, for those of you who are my regular viewers, you know that at this stage in my life, I am taking an in-moderation approach and I'm just not on board with cutting entire foods out of my diet altogether. So I was curious to see what would happen if I paired that banana with some fat and protein to lighten the glucose load and let's see what happened 
So as you can see here, I have a medium sized banana, which is about the same level of ripeness as the banana I had previously. It might actually be slightly more ripe. I prep this banana the way that I make it for my kiddos, which is I cut them up into coins and then I top them with almond butter and sprinkle them with hemp seeds. And both the almond butter and hemp seeds have a good amount of fat and protein. So I tested my blood sugar before eating this and it was 103. So the highest pre-meal number so far from this experiment. Then at the one hour mark, my blood sugar came in at 110. I was very, very pleasantly surprised by this. My blood sugar only increased by seven. And then at the two hour mark, it came right back down to 101. So in this instance, the fat and protein really did an amazing job of keeping my blood sugar balanced. What this tells me is that healthy fats and protein really make all of a difference in balancing my blood sugar. So based on the results of this experiment, I really have no problems incorporating bananas into my diet in moderation. Again, as long as I'm always making sure to pair it with some type of fat or protein. So that could be almond butter and hemp seeds. It could be um, a handful of walnuts. It could be a hard boiled egg with chia seeds. You know, the possibilities really are endless. And there are a lot of creative ways that I can eat bananas. So based off of the results of this experiment, I feel comfortable in saying that I myself can definitely incorporate bananas into my diet. I hope you all found this blood sugar experiment interesting, helpful, informative, or all of the above. Please note that the findings of this experiment um, can really only be applied to my body. Your body is different from mine, but still interesting, right? Let me know if there are other specific fruits that you want me to test to see how my body responds. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing grapes in the next round, though I am pretty fearful of doing that. I might be more afraid of grapes actually than bananas. Um, but yeah, let me know if there are any other specific fruits you want me to test. Leave that down in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all and I will see you all next time. Bye!